Do you think that, that there is a danger, particularly with young Iranian women who are so passionately angry and upset right now, that, that your voice, which is an important voice, may be putting them in more danger? You know, that breaks my heart. This is the time that the Western media, Western politicians who keep asking me the same question and putting the blame on me to understand that Iranian women have agency. Many of them ask me to be their voices. So please stop with the blame on me. No, because this I isn't, hang on, hang on. I, I'm also mindful that, that you know, there are very successful women in Iran. You can look at engineers, you can look at pilots, you can look at athletes, you can look at artists. Your online platform where for years you've invited uh, Iranian women to share pictures of themselves uh, doing things which in Iran are regarded as criminal. Is it right to uh, encourage those women in a way which could lead them to be desperately exposed inside a country in which, we have to admit, you no longer live. I'm not encouraging women. I'm echoing the voice of the true leaders within the society. When I launch my campaign, uh, many politicians from your country, from the Western countries, they went to Iran, they obeyed compulsory hijab laws without even challenging it. The, the last thing I would like to do is silence you, but I do want to ask you questions, one of which is this. Does the fact that you work for Voice of America, which is, of course, a U.S. federally funded uh, radio and media organization, does it not leave you exposed to the charge coming from Tehran that you, in the end, are a tool of a United States government which, of course, has a long-standing enmity with Iran? Many years when I launched the campaign, I've been under attack of uh, many academics, many uh, like left and liberal saying the same thing. I don't care who fund me. I care about who want me to give their, their voice to be 